Kylo comes into tonight's game with a 16 and 8 record. They are 8 and 0 in conference play, and they're sporting a 10 game winning streak. They are coached by the ubiquitous Dennis DeBuff, serving as the athletic director, the football coach, and now in his second year as the head basketball coach for Shiloh Christian School. P. Ridge, on the other hand, tonight comes into the game. They have slid through, Rob, the 1A West Conference Tournament. They have a lot of momentum coming into the game. They defeated Decatur by 34 points. They defeated Greenland in a squeaker by one point. And uh, their record is 10 and 16. They are 6 and 2 in Conference 1A West play and they are coached by Larry Walker. We're set for the tip-off here in just a few seconds, and I really feel like tonight the pressure is on Shiloh Christian School having not lost a conference game in just over two years. First of all, the nine starters for the Blackhawks, number 10, Jaron Collins. For the Pea Ridge Blackhawks tonight, Jaron Collins, number 10. Clay Reed. Number 12, Number Joel Clay Easterling. Two, Jason Nida. Number 20, Clay. Number it, looks like, it looks like they're giving the whole lineup and then they'll Number give the starting two, players. Jeff McKinney. And number 40, Chad Van Landenham. Excellent. And now the starters for the Blackhawks, coached by Larry Walker. The starting guard, five tonight for the Peerage Blackhawks. Starting at guard, forward, number 11, Greg Wilkerson. Senior, Brian Wright, number 32. Number 23, Mark Davis. Playing guard, a junior, number 4, 44. Scoring 30 points the other night, Henry Gray, and then Mike Denman, number 52. That's the starting lineup for the Pea Ridge Blackhawks. And now the Wayne West champion, Shiloh Saints. And they're set to share with the home crowd, the Shiloh Saints. And they're going to go ahead and roll off all the players, and then we will share the five starters for Shiloh Christian School. Number 32, Dave Mitchell. Number 4, Brent Wolfser. Number 34, Ethan Crockett. Number 15, Mike Green. Shiloh has a really strong Number starting five this year. And in just a few seconds, 30, we're going to give you their names and talk Number a little bit about the starting lineups. Number of course, Coach Dennis DeBus, Assistant Coach Tommy Overton, C.J. Swain, David Reed helping and out. And now the starting West five Conference for the Champion. 1A West Conference Champion, Coach Shiloh Manny Christian Bus. Saints. Forward, sophomore number 42, Gerald Drummond. Gerald Drummond, number and 42, senior, a sophomore, scoring 11.9 points a game. Playing senior, 6'3", Bill Dial. At guard, averaging 5.2 points a game, Matt Nolan, he's number 25. Robbie Henshew, number 55, scoring 9.4 per game. And a prolific score, a great rebounder, a good all-around positive influence for the team, number 23, Nathan Fairchild. What's the layoff has done to Shiloh? The kids have the opportunity to play each night, so it's going to be interesting to see what the layoff has done for Shiloh. Reds uh, could come into it just a little bit tired. They've had two exciting ball games in the tournament. Shiloh's had the opportunity to rest. So if you work through the way tonight, we're going to see right at the very beginning what they can work. That's a good point. It's hard to say whether the rest will be good for Shiloh or whether or not the uh, activity of the week with having been on the road playing all these games and a close one against Greenland to see if that will diffuse the energy of the Blackhawks from Pea Ridge. We're set for the tip-off. We're welcoming you to Shiloh Christian School and the 1A West Conference Tournament Championship. The tip-off goes to Shiloh. Gerald Drummond controls the ball. Nathan Fairchild quickly gets the ball into Robbie Hanshu. Nathan can score from three-point range. A nice dish to Drummond from eight feet. Misses. Hanshu tips it off out of bounds. The ball goes to Pea Ridge. Basket is missed there by Mike Denman, Denman and Robbie Hanshu gets the rebound off to Fairchild, out to the top of the key to Hanshu, off to the side to Matt Nolan. 
and he busts a three-pointer, uncharacteristic, only averaging 5.2 points per game, and he starts out right here tonight. The ice is broken, Stan. Excellent, seven minutes, 15 seconds left in the first quarter of play. Body foul on Robbie Henshu. He fouls, it looks like, Mike Denman. And the ball will be taken underneath by the black and red of P. Ridge. Greg Wilkerson out to the top of the key. Good defense by Nathan Fairchild, number 44, Henry Bray. One of the great scoring punches for the uh, Blackhawks, Henry Bray, and then Mark Davis. The rebound by Mark Davis. Looks like we have a foul on P. Ridge, Dan. It looked like a foul on Mark Davis, and then the ball will go to Shiloh Christian School. Shiloh did have the opportunity, Stan, to slip away and play two games last week, which were not scheduled games. Fairchild made a good pass, but Dial was looking for the rebound. You know, Bill Dial is averaging 11.2 rebounds per game, and one of the big keys to this game, Rod, is going to be which team can out-rebound the other. There's Henry Bray taking it down, penetrating. And the foul is called on Henry Bray. He's not too pleased with that. Neither is Coach Larry Walker, but nonetheless, the pinstripe black and white referee makes the call. Exactly right, Stan. So far, the tempo is all in Shiloh's favor at this time. Bill Dial from the free throw line. And Henshu cannot handle the ball. It's turned over. Six minutes, 34 seconds left. The score of the home team, Shiloh Christian School, three. And the visiting team, the Hawks, zero. Davis, top of the key, Fairchild with the steal, goes to the middle, goes up high, and lays it in, could have dunked it, and the home team advantage, obviously showing there is Fairchild with a fantastic steal, three-point shot by Bray, NBN, nothing but net. He could do that all night long, as the other night he showed he scored 30 points. That's exactly right, Stan. Fairchild tries to counter with a three-pointer. Dial goes up strong. It rolls off the rim. A great rebound by Bill Dial. He's fouled, I believe, by Brian Wright. No, they're calling it Mike Denman. Mike Denman on the defensive rebounding, and he fouls Bill Dial. Bill has not been a fantastic free throw shooter this year, but he's been working on the free throw shot. That went in and out. He's Five. been a workhorse, so staying all year, just under the boards, and just has done an outstanding job as a workhorse for the team this year. And the great thing about that, he scores the uh, back end there of the two-shot uh, free throw. But the good thing about it is he's a junior. He'll be back with us next year. And now Shiloh has doubled the score of P. Ridge, 6-3. to three. Mike Denman up. Nice tip. Drummond takes it down the middle, in and out. Dial with the rebound. Jump ball. Coach DeBusk wants to foul, but the possession arrow pointing in the direction of the Hawks. It's kind of hard to hear here. A lot of action, a lot of fan support tonight for both teams, it looks like. Posting up Mike Denman on Gerald Drummond. The basket's good, 6-5, a close game. Five minutes and 26 seconds left in the first quarter. And Shu out to Fairchild. He took a stutter step, according to the referee, and another turnover by the Saints. Henry Bray, the point guard, into Mark Davis. Looks down low, back out to Bray, top of the key. Penetrates, goes up strong. Basket's good, Fairchild gets him with the body. Fantastic play by the little five foot 10 stocky point guard from P. Ridge, Henry Bray. Fairchild there inadvertently followed through with his body and caused a foul. Possible three point play. Now for the very first time in the game, the Blackhawks have a lead, 7-6, make that 8-6. We were talking earlier, there's looks like a attempted steal by Davis. He knocks it out, Shiloh's ball. We were talking earlier about how the pressure has definitely got to be on Shiloh. 
although they are at home. They've not lost a conference game in two years. Coach DeBusk has never lost a conference game as he's been at the helm. Dial with a good rebound. He wants the foul, nothing doing there. Davis bringing down the ball. Off to Bray on the side. He looks three-pointer, passes into Denman. Back out to Davis from the side, off the rim. Dial with a rebound. Reaching in, number 32, Brian Wright. That's the one thing you cannot do in a 1A West basketball is reach in. They'll call it on you every time. And they start off trying to get control of the game and not let it get away from them, Stan. And that they're calling it very close at this time. I think that's good. Both these teams are very aggressive. They're very uh, hard playing teams. And this game means a lot to both teams as they'll both be going to regional play here uh, this next week at County Line. Long pass by Hanshu, fake by Fairchild, double clutch, forcing it just a little bit. And the rebound by Brian Wright, Wilkerson to Davis, Davis to Bray, looks three pointer, gets Drummond in the air, eight footer, no good. And shoe. It looked like it could have been off for the Blackhawks, but the referee calls it their way. And so Mark Davis will be inbounding the ball for P. Ridge. Well, so far, the game, both teams have just been a little bit tight, Stan. Probably so. A big, a big game for both teams. Nice dish inside by Bray. Left hand shot, Mike Denman. Basket's good. Gerald Drummond not able to get in his face. 10 to 6, P. Ridge, the visiting team, into Drummond. Hanshu goes up strong. Baskets good. Good play offensively by Robbie. Robbie Hanshu averaging 9.4 points per game, the most balanced player with 8.6 rebounds to go along with almost 10 a game. Nice left handed touch by Denman from P. Ridge over 6 foot 3 center Bill Dial. Fairchild quickly brings it in. Nice dish to Drummond. Drummond looks to the side, a steal, and they're calling a possession, jump ball. The arrow goes to the Saints. Three minutes, 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Shiloh down 12 to eight. Not a lot of points, Stan, but a lot of action. Up and down the floor, moving. Both teams trying to get a sense of control in this game. A lot of activity, as you said, dial. Drummond with the rebound, up from six foot, no good. Off to Bray. He stops, pulls up from 12. Basket careens up. They're going to call no good, say it hit the top of the backboard. An excellent call by the referee. Heads up call. Here with three minutes and 11 seconds, that would have put P. Ridge up by six. I don't think the P. Ridge folks thought it hit the top of the backboard. <laughs> <laughs> but it sure did. It was a good call all the way. Fairchild from three point range. Didn't quite have the touch, and Hanshu goes in for the offensive rebound, but with his body, he doesn't quite execute the rebound, and he gets some flesh from Brian Wright, number 32. The Hawks inbound the ball. Henry Bray, good-looking player, nice stocky guy. He could play middle linebacker or point guard. He had an outstanding football season for him, too. Oh, is that right? <laughs> rebound by Matt. Nolan, Fairchild, forcing it down low. And they're going to call a foul on the Hawks. I believe Gerald Drummond got fouled. Number 52, Mike Denman. I believe that makes it his second foul here. And we've not seen a sixth player come off the bench for either team. Here we go, uh, first substitution, Stan. Very first substitute, number 12, Joel Easterling comes in. And I'm not surprised that they're sitting in probably the best six man in 1A West Conference play, Brian Proud, a sophomore who also had a fantastic football season. Here it is at the end of basketball season, but a great sixth man scoring eight points a game off the bench for Shiloh. Drummond knocks down the front end of the free throw situation, making it 12 to nine, and soon to make it 12 to 10, nothing but that. Wilkerson quickly getting it into Bray from the side. He looks three. Good move from 12 point. Basket's good. 14 10, P. Ridge. We're going to have to shut him down, and I think Brian Proud is in here. His quickness and his speed will be a big help to Shiloh. And she on the side. Fairchild looks one way, goes another. Passes to Drummond from six feet. Basket's good. And the characteristic Drummond finger in the air, the look of victory. 
And now they have narrowed the margin from four to two. It's 14-12 P Ridge. Gray from top off the front end of the rim and Hanshu with the rebound. Fairchild brings it down court into Bill Dial, takes it down low off the glass. Hanshu looks like he's got the rebound, goes up strong, basket's good. Good patience there by Hanshu. Excellent. Those two seniors have to come through tonight and lead the way for Shiloh. Larry Walker said the key to him winning. Wilkerson from three point range, an air ball. Wilkerson, an air ball, and Larry Walker was saying that the key to them winning was going to be defense, and who would out-rebound who. Again, drumming up, and he gets a home court advantage roll there, and now Shiloh has taken the lead, 16 to 14. Oh, Wilkerson with a good dish down low to Davis. Basket's no good. Proud with the rebound. He takes it all the way down, goes up from six, double clutches, but he's fouled by... Henry Bray. P. Ridge wanted to call offensive charge, but I don't think the man was set. And Proud came down, perhaps should have dished off, but nonetheless, he gets two shots there from the free throw line. One minute and five seconds left here in the first quarter. Conference 1A West Tournament Championship. Brian Proud, the sixth player, off the bench. Actually, the first person off the bench, but he's their sixth player. That's right, he does a good job. Sure does, Stan. Dennis has gone to the bench quite often this year, so there's a lot of young men that are experienced and are ready to play tonight. And with the pace of play, that could come in very handy for Shiloh, as well as for P. Ridge, who they've got a strong bench as well. Brian Proud cans both of them, makes the score 18-14, Shiloh. Mark Davis, nice Kareem off the glass. Excellent play offensively by P. Ridge. Narrows the score, 18-16, 44 seconds left, first quarter. Brian Proud, three-pointer, no good. Hanshu, good offensive rebound. They're gonna call a travel. Hanshu can't be too pleased, but he keeps his head in the game, and the senior experience from Hanshu will come into play here. 35 seconds left, first quarter. Bray brings it in. They may go for just one shot here. Wilkerson back to Bray. And they are, looks like, Rod. They're going to hold off with 25 yes. seconds left and try to make that, try to tie the game here, possibly go up by one with a three-point shot. P. Ridge is going to a high-low post, stacking on the same side, trying to divide the zone. Oh, Fairchild with an excellent defensive play. Shot a little early, another air ball. Wilkerson cannot be... Hanshu, Fairchild from three-point range, basket, no good, at the buzzer. And so here we are at the end of the first quarter of Conference 1A Plus Tournament Championship play. Where what Shiloh, an exciting first quarter. 18, exciting, 18 points for Shiloh, 16 points for the visiting Blackhawks. And I can't hardly hear myself talk. I've been stuttering probably and can't hear you speak too much, but... Uh, so far, the pace is probably good for both teams because they like to run, they like to shoot. Exactly right. Coach DeBus has just had a few words with the head official in tonight's game, letting him know how he feels about certain things in the first quarter. One of the things about it, he'll stay with that official, but it causes them to think. It causes them to think about what they're calling and what's going on, keeping their heads in the ball game too, as he keeps his head in the ball game and now shares with the team going into the second quarter. Referees do a fine job day in and day out, week in and week out. And here tonight, they're calling an excellent game. They may not call it all the time the way that Shiloh or Pea Ridge want, but down the line, usually it's a balanced situation, and the calls will go accordingly. And here we are set for the second quarter uh, inbounds from the uh, Pea Ridge side. Uh, there's six men off the bench. Number 12, Joel Easterling is still in, and he's hounded by Brian Proud. Gray to Wilkerson, Wilkerson off the side. Nice pass, couldn't handle it, Easterling. Good defense by Proud, he's so quick. Wilkerson, I imagine coaches said, don't shoot that three-pointer, that's two air balls. But just as quickly, he shoots it up, and it's no good. Proud with the rebound. Top of the key, Nathan Fairchild off the hand shoe. Back to Fairchild, to the middle, goes up. Nice shot, 
Good touch. Fairchild. Fairchild this year, a streak shooter at times. Tonight playing a pretty balanced game, forcing a few shots, but he can offensively and defensively keep any team in the game. Good defense by Dial. Wilkerson keeps shooting, but he hasn't found the touch here tonight. Dial with the defensive rebound. Off to Proud. They're going to go ahead and bring it down. Oh, good drive by Proud. Couldn't quite put it in. But the bounce goes Shiloh's way. And Shiloh will have an inbounds play here. Hand shoot to inbound it, possibly to Fairchild. Out to Proud from the top. Fairchild from the side. Into Dial. Great pass. Dial did not have the hands that time, but almost a steal. Bray brings it down. Stop from eight foot. Basket's good. You can count it right there for Henry Bray from Pea Ridge, Arkansas. Top of the key, Hanshu off to Brian Proud. Into Dial, good touch. Nice basket there from six feet. Dial, looks like he's injured. Oh, he hurt his knee on that one. They're going to call a foul there. I didn't see the foul. Of course, Bill Dial was down. He's got a bad knee, and that's bad news for Shiloh. I'm not sure if it's a cramp, a Charlie horse, or a bad knee. We're hoping for the best for Bill Dial. Shep Anders enters the game. Shep's averaging 1.3 points per game. He's a good player. He's a left-hander from Shiloh. Bill Dial, the 6'3 center, is in much pain here at the sideline. Stan, I don't know if it's his knee or his ankle. Uh, there was a lot of feet tangled up down there when Bill came down. Bill gets a hand from the crowd. He's going to have to go off. I think they're going to try to ice him down. That could be a big loss for Shiloh because just his rebounding and his presence under the board means a lot to Shiloh. Oh, there's no question. Uh, he's averaging 11.2 rebounds per game, and now he's not there. That's a lot of the rebounding punch. Puts a lot of pressure and on the senior, Robbie Hanshu, to come through tonight. Does. But Anders in the game, he's got some good playing time. Mike Denman goes up, misses. Drummond with the rebound, off to Proud. And they're going to go and take it like the Lakers do all the way down. Shep Anders from the top of the key. Dishes to Proud. Fairchild's going to have to take some of the scoring load. Now the dial, a great pass to Hanshu. They're going to call walking again. And Coach DeBus cannot be pleased. A turnover for Shiloh. Now P. Ridge with the ball. Coach and they've got another player in the game, number 22 from P. Ridge, Jason Vita. Third Coach, foul. Coach Larry Walker cannot be pleased with that touch foul because not only was it a close call, but also that's the third foul, correct me if I'm wrong, on Mike Denman. No, you're exactly right, Stan, and that's a big foul with 5.33 to remain in the second quarter. And that brings in number 10, Jaron Collis for Mike Denman. Shep Anders from the line will be shooting a Front end of a one and one with five minutes, 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Shiloh, if you've just joined us, 22, P Ridge 18. Baskets no good. Gray, the point guard from P Ridge, hounded by Brian Proud. Nice dish into Mark Davis. Davis up. Rebound by Anders. Good defensive rebound. P. Ridge has at times looked good, at times looked a little tense, and the foul is going to be called on Bray. Bray, a look of disgust, wondering if he really did what the referee said he did. Nonetheless, Fairchild will be getting to shoot. I believe he'll get a one and one, although it was close. Nathan Fairchild, at six foot, probably the greatest six foot leaper in the conference 1A West. He can slam dunk a basketball, no question about it. And he makes the front end of the one and one. It's 23-18. Holding here to find out if he makes the back end with five minutes, 11 seconds left, second quarter. Basket's good. Makes it 24-18, Shiloh over P. Ridge. 
Ray to Davis. Davis from three point, no good. Their three point range they have not found yet in the first half. And Coach Walker saying that uh, rebounding and defense were a key. I think three point uh, goals are going to be a key. And Nathan Fairchild missing on the 16 footer. Another three point shot. Bray, baskets good. Three pointer. 24 21, a three point game. Here with just over four and a half minutes left, second quarter. Fairchild, a little bit of a force, but he gets the good roll, and he would have been there for the follow-up rebound. Way to follow up the shot. That was an excellent shot with body control, Stan. Fairchild plays hard, both offensively and defensively. Bray, down low, the basket, no good. An air ball. Again, Bray from three-point range. Looks short. It is. Air ball. He'll get the call. Air ball from the fans. Greg Wilkerson comes into the game. Coach DeBus barks out the signals. Calls 14, whatever that means, for Shiloh. And now Wilkerson in the game along with Jason Vita. Mark Davis, Ryan Wright, Hanshu missing down low. Not able to quite to find his range even down low, but Hanshu will come around in the second half. Davis from three point, no good. Offensive rebound, no good. Hanshu with the rebound. To the top of the key, Brian Proud off to Anders. Fairchild from the side, spins right. But he's taking that stutter step, according to the referee, a little quick on a step. Coach DeBus says good call. Great sportsmanship here. Both coaches, good sports here tonight. Larry Walker and Coach DeBus. The thing about Pea Ridge, this is the fourth consecutive conference tournament game where their team has been represented both junior and senior high. And they've not yet won a game. Tonight they hope to win here. Basket good there, 26-23, another three-point game. Fairchild from free throw. The basket's good, making it 28-23. Just under three minutes left, second quarter. Wilkerson to Davis. Bray's out of the game, getting a little pine time. Needs a little rest for the second half. A good coaching move. Wilkerson from the top, no good off the back of the rim. Brian Proud takes it down and slows it up. Bill Dial, good to see that he's returning. Looks like he's going to be OK. And that's good news for the Shiloh Saints, possibly bad news for the Blackhawks. Drummond a little hard. Hanshu offensive rebound. Basket's good, making it a seven-point game, 30 to 23. And then we've got timeout on the floor. Timeout is called by P. Ridge. Is that right? Timeout, P. Ridge. So with two minutes and 24 seconds left, Coach Walker's had about enough. And he says, guys, let's uh, Let's huddle up. Let's look at what we're doing. We've been staying close. We've maintained control. But I think we need to get our composure, get Bray probably back in the game, and go back in here and before halftime, get this thing a little closer than it is right now. Well, it was a good timeout call, Stan. The ball game's now gone to a seven-point lead for a seven-point swing for Shiloh. He needed to get things back under control, slow the momentum down, make sure that they're doing what he wants them to do. It gives them an opportunity to put the control back in the ball game rather than lose it to Shiloh like they're doing right now. You know, one of the good things about Dial being out of the game is he's going to have all that energy in the second half. But not only that, it keeps him out of foul trouble. He's very prone to foul trouble. And it keeps him out of foul trouble, so tonight he'll be fresh. With two minutes and 24 seconds left in the half, uh, the timeout is ended, and they'll come out. P. Ridge will inbounds the ball. Number 22, Jason Vita. Well, then bounce it to Greg Wilkerson, and contrary to what I thought, and maybe what you thought, Bray's going to go ahead and stay out, and they'll bring it in without the point guard, Henry Bray. Brian Wright, and they're calling the foul on Dial. He has been inserted back in the game. It looks like the injury is not too severe, though he is limping. I believe they're calling a two-shot foul. Looks like it's Stan. No, they're going to call one and one. It did happen on the ground. Bill will be just a little bit slow. He's going to be about a step behind. He's going to have to compensate now for that slow, swollen ankle. And 
crowd inserted once again into the game. And Dow will come out. He's just not able at this point. He's a little stiff probably in the knee. And, and Dennis felt like, too, with this combination that's in the ball game, they have uh, taken a, a run of seven points here and put these quick young boys back in the ball game. Excellent point. Right, a little short on the free throw there at the back end of the one and one Fairchild, quick flip to Matt Nolan. Basket's good. Matt Nolan, second three-pointer of the first half. That makes it six points out of the, tell you what, Matt Nolan, the five foot nine guard for Shiloh. Bray now inserted in the game. Henshu, I'll tell you what, he has not quite had the touchdown low, but he's been there on rebounding both offensively and defensively. Fairchild to Nolan, back out to number 23. Fairchild goes to the middle, forces it a little bit. Henshu goes up. The call is made on Davis. He is disgusted. Walker thought that Davis, his star forward, had the position, and he is furious. Nevertheless, Robbie Hanshu, number 55, will be taking the free throws down low. The worst thing they could do, stand now for the Blackhawks, is to lose their composure. One and one for Robbie Henshu. There's still a lot of ball game to play. Basket's no good. Somebody goes in early. Blackhawks so, are in the paint early, Stan. So the rule there is when that infraction occurs, you get the one and one all over again. That's exactly so, right. While they may have had no points, now an opportunity to get two points, both on the one and one. No good again. Ryan Wright with the rebound. Davis half court to Bray. I have an idea that Bray's going to throw up a couple of three-pointers here before the half ends if he gets the chance. Dishes in to right. Down low from eight feet. No good. Again, Hanshu with the rebound. Off to Proud. And a turnover goes the opposite way for the red and black of P. Ridge. So with one minute, 17 seconds left, the score, P. Ridge 24, Shiloh 33. Now a nine-point advantage for the champion... Conference champion, 1A West champion, Shiloh Saints. The steal by Gerald Drummond takes it all the way down court. And a block there by Bray. Walker visibly upset that his favorite son, his point guard, Henry Bray, now incurred three fouls. Cannot afford to lose Bray in the second half. He's gonna have to pull him out. Exactly right, now that's two. The P. Ridge's athletes that are in foul trouble, Stan, that could really be a, a turning point in the game. Mark Denman with three, Henry Bray with three. Drummond knocks down the front end. He's, get a, he's got, a, in fact, a two-point, a two-shot foul there. And uh, he makes it here, an 11-point margin, 35-24. Shiloh is extending their lead, and P. Ridge not being able to maintain their composure right from the free throw line off to Davis. Nice fake to the middle. Blocked by Fairchild, but he does follow through with his body. A good call by the referees. Coaches say keep it under control. That's a tough third, second foul, Stan, with 53 seconds to go. We can't afford to. Uh, I'm sure Dennis is sharing that with Fairchild. It's late in the ball game before the half. Let's don't foul. Guys. He's going to probably, yeah, exactly right. He's probably going to throw uh, Shep Anders in if he can. Pull one of the guys out who doesn't need to get in foul trouble. That being Nathan Fairchild. So Davis gets the second opportunity here with the two-shot foul. And that's just good coaching to pull him out of the ball game so he doesn't get an incidental foul here late in the first half. That kind of coaching, in part, the reason why Shiloh not losing a conference game since Coach DeBus comes from Heber Springs to take Shiloh Christian School to the conference championship each year. Shep Anders out to Proud. Gerald Drummond, his characteristic shot from eight feet, turnaround jumper, basket's good. 33 seconds left, 12 point margin. Shiloh 37, P Ridge 25. Wilkerson top of the key, off to Davis. Davis back to Wilkerson. Drummond with another steal, takes it all the way down from four feet, and the basket's good. With 14 seconds left, 39-25, Matt Nolan a little out of control, and he makes the foul. 
That's a tough foul, Stan. That's, that's a tough foul, exactly but you know, what we were talking about. admirable quality aggressiveness, but a little bit out of control. Matt Nolan, Mr. Hustle for Shiloh, and he fouls number 12 from Pea Ridge, Joel Easterling, who will go to the line for a one and one. Well, we have definitely taken the crowd out of it, Stan, tonight. Shiloh has, with this lead, that rebound by Wright, no good. Going up strong, they've had like three offensive rebounds in a row, and Hanshue picks up another foul. I tell you what, they're not blocking out there. That's a simple matter of blocking out. And here with five seconds left, this two points could make a break, be a big difference in the second half. They surely don't want Gerald Drummond to get another foul. That foul, by the way, was not on Robbie Hanshue. It was on Gerald Drummond. And uh, Scott Mills, number 24, at well over six foot, is inserted into the game. This is Scott's first year, too, Sam. He's just done an admirable job as a first-year ball player for Shiloh. It's a shame that he's a senior and didn't come out earlier in his high school career. Well, P. Ridge not able to get their three-point range, and here it looks like early on in the game, not able to get their free throw range, but finally Wright knocks down the free throw. Four seconds, three seconds. Proud from three-point range, off the glass, no good. So at halftime, the score, the home team, the Shiloh Christian School Saints 39, the visiting team from P. Ridge, where they fought a war, 26, and the halftime stats will be sent back momentarily. As they go into the locker room, Coach DeBusk is gonna try to just say, hey guys, here's some things you did well, here's a few things we need to work on. Conversely, Coach Larry Walker cannot be too pleased. He wins by 34 points over Decatur, wins in a squeaker by one point over Greenland, having lost two consecutive games this year by, as you said, 13 and eight points. Now he comes with a, what, 13 point disadvantage in the second half. Your thoughts? Well, Stan, I, I just, they're still not out of it. They just have to maintain their composure and come back and do what they do well, and that's control the ball and shoot. And uh, I think right now that Dennis is going in and saying, guys, we can't let down. We can't let down, because P. Ridge is the team that'll just keep coming back and coming back. They'll haunt you with their hustle and their tenacity. I, I think that uh, what Coach Walker has to share with his ball club is, look, guys, let's don't give up. Let's settle down. Let's play ball. We're not out of this game yet. I, we'll see, I think, in the third quarter if this tournament has taken its toll on P. Ridge, the hard games that they've played just to get to the finals. And I think that's going to be a, something we need to really watch in the third quarter to see how the control goes and the mood swing of the game. It'll tell us, are they worn out? Are they leg weary? Where are they? We'll talk more about that at as we come back here. Welcome back to halftime. The warm-ups are now being taking place here on the court. They'll be changing sides. And let us go ahead and give you the halftime stats that we were not able to give you just a moment ago. Scoring 10 points for Shiloh are Nathan Fairchild and Gerald Drummond, scoring six points each. Matt Nolan and Robbie Henshew scoring three points. Bill Dial and two points for Brian Proud. Unfortunately, we do not have the stats for the Pea Ridge Blackhawks at halftime, but uh, at the end of the game, we could probably give you some of those stats if you'll stay tuned with us. And um, here in just a little bit, we're one minute and 15 seconds or so away from the tip off of the second half. Actually, Rob, they don't tip it off the second half. They do a possession situation. And the score is 39 to 26 Shiloh over Pea Ridge. That's 13 points. That kind of deficit is going to be hard to overcome, especially knowing that Shiloh has the home field advantage, rather the home court advantage. In addition to that, they, uh, all that pressure's been released. The one thing that, that you can say is we just found out that Bill Dial has got a humongous knot on his foot and he will not be able to complete the game. He will not have any action in the second half. And that rebounding edge could possibly swing over just a little bit to P. Ridge. I think that's exactly right, Stan. But I, I think Coach DeBest was pleased with the combination that he put on the floor to replace Bill Dial. The young guards, the quickness of the young guards. Uh, he changed his defense, went to a 2-3, which was a positive note. Went out of his 2-1-2. So he changed zones. He, he put some quicker people on the floor. 
I think that uh, that combination worked. It worked well. The score is obvious of that. Rod Goodsell, superintendent of Shiloh Christian School, along with Stan Coleman. We're bringing you some play-by-play -play and color commentary. This is our first time really to do this this year and not really too accommodating or comfortable with it, but we hope you're enjoying the video production by Bill Wallace and company. Shiloh will inbounds the ball, and Matt Nolan, scoring two three-pointers in the first half, will inbounds it. And it looks like that uh, pretty much the teams will start the second half with the way they started the first half, except for Proud will be taking Dial's place. Matt Nolan with a three-pointer to start the second half, just like he did the first half. He's got three baskets, all three of them, for three points for a total of nine points. Well, somebody was going to have to pick up the load for Bill Dial and uh, carry the basketball for him. And so Matt Nolan looks like he has zeroed in tonight. Oh, nice pass. Denman could not take care of Nolan playing volleyball with it along the side. Close to a turnover, but it was not to be, and the basketball will go the Hawks' way. Ray to Wilkinson. Oh. Coaching staff at Shiloh wanted to walk there. Top of the key, Davis, three-pointer good. That right there can make or break what P. Ridge will do. Davis hands the three-pointer. Nolan from the side out to Fairchild. You know, the good thing about Nolan being hot from three-point range, Drummond down from six feet. He's so good from there. Misses the basket. Brian Wright, strong defensive rebound. Off to Wilkerson, top of the key. Mark Davis dishing from the side. Henry Bray, no good. Wright, offensive rebound. Off the glass, basket's good. Drummond not able to make the defense work. So a lot of action here in the second half. Six minutes, 46 seconds left. Shiloh 42 and P. Ridge 31. Proud, nice dish. Hanshu, oh, blocked by Davis. But Hanshu has the ability to come back down with his own rebound, go straight back up. Exactly right, Stan. They're asking Proud to kind of box in on Mark Davis. Down low to right, out to Wilkerson. Cross-court pass, can't do that. Turnover to Shiloh, and immediately Larry Walker inserts Joel Easterling for Wilkerson. Six minutes, 14 seconds left, third quarter. A 13-point advantage for Shiloh, the same way they started the second half. Pass by Fairchild, that was a touch pass. It works in the pros. Doesn't work in a 1A West Conference play here. This is the tournament championship game. If you've just joined us, it's 44-31 Shiloh. And Bray, a little short. Drummond with a foul. I don't know if I've ever seen Gerald Drummond pleased after he's made a foul. He's got a- oh, That was a hustling foul, Sam. That was a, that, that was a hustle foul then. And he just, something that couldn't be helped. Coach DeBus calls a timeout, 13-point advantage for Shiloh, five minutes, 55 seconds left in the third quarter. And of course, we have, again, the fourth quarter to go. The reason for that timeout, probably more, more than anything else, not that they're losing any advantage that they've had, but Coach DeBus probably laid out a game plan for them there at halftime, and they're not following the game plan. So here we are. He's huddling his players together, say, guys, hey, keep your heads up. Don't make stupid fouls. Do what we know we can do, and and uh, it'll take us all the way to regional, and who knows from there. I think Stan, that one of the things that he's encouraging him, he says we've got to get in the paint and get on the boards. We just we've got to win the battle at the boards on both ends of the court, and I think yeah, that's what he's trying to do. He's, he felt like they were too wide, they were outside the paint. He needed to pull them back in and close off the backboards. And of course, that in part due to the fact that Bill Dial, their starting junior center, six foot three, not going to be in there to get those monster rebounds, 11.2 rebounds he was averaging per game. And when you take 11 rebounds off of your team for the second half, that's a whole big chunk out. Shiloh, defense, Pea Ridge offense, out to Bray, quick dish, down low to Denman. They proud with the steal, all the way down, offensive foul. Offensive foul. They say that Bray was set. And so finally, Bray gets one called his way. 
Well, that would have been a tough foul, too, Stan, if Bray had been calling oh, that. Yes. That would have been his four. Definitely, that would have been four. <laughs> Top of the key to Bray. Down low to Brian Wright. Nice dish, left-handed layup by Mike Denman. P. Ridge with a little more control, an 11-point margin now. Matt Nolan not missed yet. That time he missed Tell you why he was fouled by Brian Wright. You know, the thing about Nolan is he typically won't be busting all those three-pointers, but what he's doing is he's forcing the defense to come out on him. That's, exactly That's opening right. up the middle a little bit. That's exactly right, Stan, and it allows Robbie Hanshaw to be open in the center. And that's what we've got to do is bring that defense out. They've been in a zone, a half zone, half man. They've been mixing it up, up and down the floor. And so what we're trying to do, what Matt's trying to do is say, come out and play me. I don't really want to take the shot, guys. Come out <laughs> and play me. But if you're not going to play me, I'm going to take it. Nolan gets two shots, and Matt Nolan is averaging Five point two points per game. He's extending that average a little bit here in the conference tournament championship. And the big question will be wear and tear show on P Ridge. And they're saying that Nolan went over the line, so that basket would not have been good had it gone in. P Ridge has got to start taking more control of the game, and they do have an opportunity to do that with five minutes and now 15 seconds left. Mark Davis, three-point range, not enough arch. Crowd with the rebound, long distance rebound. He forces it down, and a nice block by Davis. Drummond with the rebound, but not enough composure to put it back in, Davis. The foul is called on Mike Denman, a reaction on Hanshu. He puts his body on him. It's getting real aggressive down low, and that is, I believe, That's his fourth four. one, Stan. Number four on number 52. And so they're going to try to insert Jaron Collis, but they don't get him in in time. Fairchild with the pass. Nolan from three-point range. Basket's no good off the back of the rim. Bray with the rebound. Takes it down to the middle. Goes up strong. Nice dish. Basket's good. Foul on Gerald Drummond. Oh, my. Coach cannot be pleased with that foul. Drummond with his fourth foul. And that could be harmful. Now Bill Dial is out with an injury. He won't be back. Gerald Drummond's out with four fouls. That's foul trouble. And, Definitely uh, a height advantage now on the floor in favor of P. Ridge. Well, that could cause Big Mo to swing. Now it's a 10-point advantage instead of a 13-point advantage. Four minutes, 39 seconds left, third quarter. And their best free throw shooter, Henry Bray, makes, makes it a three-point play. Now with four minutes and 36 seconds left, the game takes on a different look. Fairchild from free throw line. Basket's no good hand shoot. Tips it to Proud from eight foot. Basket no good. Fairchild tries to tip it. Henshew with the rebound, goes up strong. I cannot believe this. Nolan down with the rebound. And they're gonna call a reach foul on Joel Easterling. I'll tell you what, there must have been three or four offensive rebounds on that end, and coaching staff from Shiloh wanted a foul. Well, both coaches are up now. <laughs> then again, oh, who knows what could have been called there. Hand shoot, inbound the ball to Fairchild. Missed you, but no one's there. Mr. Hustle, Fairchild, once again. He's trying to fake his man out, but in a sense, he's faking himself out. And P. Ridge with the basketball and taking a little bit of the control of the game. Brian Wright with a nice dish. And they're gonna call the foul on 55. The only the thing about that is that Hanshu did not feel like, of course, you know, he did not feel like he made the foul. He's questioning the referee about it, saying, you know, tell me what I did wrong. Jaron Collis is fouled. And that makes uh, three fouls now on P. Ridge in the third quarter. Immediately, the shot is up. 
Rebound by Davis. Would have been a three-pointer, but it's no good. That'll be a two-shot foul. And that foul is on Nathan Fairchild, Nathan. making it his third foul. So well, reaching over the top, Stan, from the backside will get you every time. And Nathan's got to come up, front up, and get on the front side of that man. P. Ridge, exactly, Rod. P. Ridge with the chance to narrow the lead to seven. See, did you, have you noticed that Davis doesn't quite have the arch he needs on the ball? He needs to bend a little more and get that arch up there. Stan Coleman along with Rod Goodsell, play-by-play, -play, color commentary. Shiloh, 45. P. Ridge, 37. Fairchild to the side. Brian Proud looks down low, passes out to Fairchild. Fairchild, double pumps, misses, tipped by Hanshu, no good. Chip Anders goes up strong, no good. Easterling takes it down. Brian Proud with the steal for Shiloh. He comes down, slows it down, drives in, forces it. And they're going to call a foul on Robbie Hanshu, it looks like. One and one, they'll send it all the way to the other end. The thing about it right now is Shiloh is not in the bonus, but P. Ridge is. And Scott Mills comes into the game for Hanshu. Stan, we've definitely seen a, a swing now, momentum in favor of P. Ridge. Shiloh has to come back, not lose it, get themselves together, play basketball like they're capable of playing basketball. But the favor now, the mood swing, the mo Momentum is definitely in P. Ridge's favor. An eight-point lead could be cut to six. No good. I'll tell you what, even without Bill Dial, Shiloh is really rebounding well. Fairchild to Mills, not able to make the catch. Foul called on right from P. Ridge. bonus stand at three minutes 19 seconds left in the third quarter this has, been, the this has been one of our poorest quarters throughout the year has been the third quarter and it's proving to be so tonight too stan the steal by bray takes it down Nice look, Henry Bray. The score now, Shiloh 45. And P. Ridge 39. A six point advantage for Shiloh. Fairchild goes up, basket's good. Nothing but net. And they're wondering why the foul was not called. Not calling it quite as close now. P. Ridge, basket's good. Jason Vita. 47-41, two minutes, 42 seconds left, third quarter. The foul is called on Greg Wilkerson upon Shep Anders, and I believe that puts him in the bonus. Easterling inserted for Wilkerson. They've been kind of coming in and out for one another all evening long. If you've just joined us, we're in the Conference 1A West, Tournament championship game, Shiloh Christian School, 16 and eight, undefeated in conference play against the Pea Ridge Blackhawks at six and two in conference play. Both teams will be going to regional play. Shep Anders makes the front end of the one and one. Now an opportunity to increase the Shiloh lead to eight. No good, Mills up. Not able to make the rebound. Mark Davis from P. Ridge, a good, a good rebound. Bray down. Bray's going to have to take control and shoot some three-pointers, but no one's in his face. Rebound P. Ridge, out to Bray. Nice dish to Easterling. Easterling, his own rebound. Twice misses the layup, Davis goes up strong. Davis with his own rebound, goes up strong again, basket, no good. And he'll be shooting two, 
Fouled by Seth Banders. They're simply not blocking out. Shiloh is not blocking out well. And the coaching staff will be sending in David Mitchell, number 32, a sophomore who has had some playing time, and David's Scott Mills. A jumper. He's a leaper, so and what they're trying to do is get some rebounding help in the ball game. Mark Davis playing a good game tonight. Gray been in foul trouble. He's had to take some of the captain role there, and he knocks down the front end of the two-shot foul, making the score 48-42, make that 48-43 here with two minutes and six seconds left in the third quarter. Fairchild, top of the key, to the side. Ryan Proud, fake one way, go the other. Anders to Fairchild from the free throw lane. Nothing but net there. Nathan Fairchild with 10 points at the half and probably another 10 more here in the third quarter. Bray with a nice fall away, one-handed shot. Nice shot by Henry Bray. Bounce pass to Proud, down low to Anders. Eight-footer, good! 52 to 45. One minute, 20 seconds. Henry Bray, three-point shot, no good. Over the back, Mark Davis knocks it out of bounds, but no, they're saying it is touched last by the blue and white Saints. A discussion by the Shiloh coaching staff, what to do. Bill Dial not able to come back in from an earlier injury. David Mitchell with the steal. Excellent defense. Shiloh has played a great defensive game. Matt Nolan, nice dish to Proud. Fakes him up, gets him up. And he is fouled by Jaron Collis of the Hawks. Brian Proud with a two-shot foul. And finally, the game slows down a little bit. Rod, your thoughts? It's time to catch your breath, Sam. These <laughs> boys have been moving up and down the floor. But it's exciting to see that the action is taking place right here in this ball game. Brian is an excellent free throw shooter, one of the best free throw shooters on the team. And another good point for Brian Proud, he's only a sophomore. 54-45, back to a nine point lead for Shiloh. One minute, three seconds left, third quarter. Bray. To Collis. Basket's no good. Fairchild gets up with a rebound. He dishes to Proud. Jukes and jives a little bit. Anders from eight feet. Basket's good. They cannot lead Chef Anders wide open from eight feet. He'll can it almost every time. Well, this is exciting to see the game that Chef's having tonight. He's had a struggle all year being a senior and being a leader like he is. To come off the bench and play so well tonight in this important ball game. We're going to say that Jaron Collis got up in the air, and the foul is called on, it looks like, David Mitchell. No, they're calling it there on Brian Proud. And so... Well, that was close for Nathan Fairchild. That's one of their big yes. guns, and he's awfully close to being in tremendous foul trouble. Yes, but credit Jason Vita with getting him up in the air. He misses the first of a two-shot foul. If he'll make this, the score will be 56 to 46. And so it is, a 10-point game with only 26 seconds left. Probably they'll go for one shot here with 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Fairchild at the top, holds it a little while, stalling for time. Brian Proud from the side off to Fairchild. They work it for one shot, 10 seconds left. Brian Proud from the side, looks down low for Anders. Fairchild from three-point range. Looks to penetrate from 10 feet, baskets up, no good. And they're saying that there was a foul. Got him in the back, Stan, on the Got shot. Him on the back, by, in the body, on the back. Number 23, Mark Davis. Of P. Ridge called for the foul. Larry Walker and his coaching staff cannot be pleased with that call with two seconds left. Nathan Fairchild increases the Shiloh lead to 57-46, two seconds left 
an opportunity to go up by 12. They started the half up by 13. And time expires. Oh, excellent attempt by P. Ridge. Basket's no good. And so, we'll be going to the fourth quarter shortly with the score Shiloh Saints, 58 points. P. Ridge Blackhawks, 46 points. And we're going to take a little time out as the cameras roll and show some of the action with the cheerleaders and the rest of the crowd. Fourth quarter, up by 12, your thoughts? Well, the fourth quarter, Sam, this is where the ball game's won or lost in the fourth quarter. I think the conditioning, we're going to say that uh, if what we predicted in the early part of the game about the condition of Pete Ridge playing all week long, this will be the quarter that tells. That's a great observation. Fairchild from three-point range. He makes a statement that says, hey, we're not going to slow it down. 61-46, they increased their lead by three that quick. And so Davis taking it down low to Hanshu. They're going to go ahead and call the foul. I believe that makes four on the senior forward, Robbie Hanshu. He's got to seal the baseline off, and he gets behind and tries to do it late. He's going to get a foul every time, Stan. Mark Davis, the workhorse tonight for the Hawks. 61-47. 61-48. 22 conference games in a row won by Shiloh Christian School. The pressure was on. Home court advantage. Fairchild down free throw line. Baskets up. Baskets good. 63-48. Bray down to Mike Denman. Mark Davis goes up strong off the glass. Basket's good. P. Ridge 50, Shiloh 63, seven minutes, five seconds left in the game and in the Conference 1A West Tournament Championship. Shiloh slows it down a little from the free throw line. Fairchild up, basket's off the back of the rim. Bray brings it down and he takes it down low. Oh, nice basket by the point guard, Henry Bray. Shiloh needs to slow it down a little, get some time off the clock. Fairchild, three-pointer, no good. P. Ridge knocks it away from one another. Davis down with the rebound. They bring it down there into the court from the side. To Davis, top of the key, three-pointer, no good off the front of the rim. Ryan right there for the rebound, nice dish but Mike Denman's not quite ready, and the foul is gonna be called on Shiloh, and I believe Nathan Fairchild. One and one. That's his fourth foul, Stan. That's four on Fairchild, that's four on Henshaw. Bill Dial's out with an injury, and uh, I'll tell you what, with uh, only 10, 11 point margin of uh, points, it's gonna be, uh, quote a barn burner here in the fourth quarter if, if one of these guys fouls out. That's exactly right. He's got Drummond sitting on the bench with four fouls. So it's, it's a tough situation right now, Stan. Mike Denman playing low post tonight with a one and one opportunity to narrow the margin. The rebound, Mark Davis, baskets good. 63-54, now a nine-point game. Crowd at the side, back out to Fairchild, top of the key. He looks down low, Anders in. Nice dish to Hanshu. Hanshu tries to get his own rebound, no good. Mike Denman with the rebound. Davis to Bray. Bray will take it down from 12 foot, no good. Oh, a nice follow by Brian Wright. And now, believe it or not, it's a seven-point game. 
and they're going to call a foul on P. Ridge. Mike Denman, I believe he's fouled out. Mike Denman with five minutes and 50, I'm sorry, five minutes and 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And in the championship game, Mike Denman has fouled out, inserted in his place, Jaron Collis. They've got a smaller now, quicker lineup. But one of the things that uh, Coach Walker said before the game was they would have to out-rebound Shiloh. Well, so far this quarter they are, Stan, they are really hitting the boards, getting the second and third shots. Shiloh couldn't give them that. But with the foul trouble that we're in, it's very difficult for them for Shiloh to go to the boards and be aggressive. Well, we started the half with a 13-point lead. It's down to seven. Make that eight now. Hanshu, a clutch player, has been all year, was the last two years for Shiloh. Now 64-56, an eight-point lead, chance to make it nine. And he does. Looks like a little full-court press, a little surprise for the Hawks. Gray comes to the rescue, brings it to the top of the key. Looks for the three-pointer, basket's good. Nice shot by Henry Bray. Vintage Bray from the top of the key, narrows it to six. Brown from the side, swings it to the top of the key to Matt Nolan, back to Proud. Shep Vanders, free throw line, basket's up, no good. And Nolan, Mr. Hustle with the rebound. Wilkerson defending Proud, Fairchild at the side. And Shiloh, characteristically slowing it down here. Fantastic feed by Nolan, and she, off the glass, and Bray brings it down to Davis. Wilkerson with the shot, not made a three-pointer all night. Wright goes in for the rebound. Anders to Nolan. Nolan goes up. He gets the ball, but he also gets his body. And tempers are flaring a little bit here tonight. Referees allowing it to get a little bit out of control. And so the score, the home team, Shiloh 67, and the Blackhawks 59. Coach DeBess was wanting an intentional foul, which would not only give us the two shots, but it would also give us the ball. Well, I, I really think Bray was going for the ball, but he, he, he did not, he did not want to pick up his fourth foul, and he did get him with the body. He wasn't really chopping him down. So I can't blame the referee for that call. The referee just warned Bray. He's been bumping and shoving in there. He just warned him anymore. He's gone. Timeout called by the referee. And the, both the teams are asked to go to their own benches. He's clearing off the court. He wants the captains out. He's just going to say, hey, guys, you better settle it down because uh, it's getting a little bit out of hand here. And I'm going to give you one warning, and that's it. Well, you can tell the intensity of the ball game. Not only does Shiloh have a 22-game winning streak on the line, but the conference tournament championship, a good seed into the regionals. The winner goes on a Tuesday night to the regionals. The loser goes on a Wednesday night to the regionals. So uh, there's a lot at stake here tonight, Stan. Oh, and there's no question about that. You know, many years ago, there was a war that took place in Pea Ridge. And tonight, the battle is here at Shiloh Christian School, where P. Ridge and Shiloh are going to war against one another with four minutes and 35 seconds left in the game. We'll see what happens. Stay with us. The action is hot and heavy. Matt Nolan makes the free throw. Davis down from 10, basket's good, eight point game, 69-61. Four minutes, 20 seconds left. Fairchild and Proud, the tandem. Nolan looking low, back out to Fairchild. Back to Nolan, down low to Hanshu, off of right. This is a big basket, Stan, this is a big basket for Shiloh. Could be a four-point swing here if Shiloh does not connect. 
Fairchild from the side, no good. Davis at the rebound. Mark Davis, the workhorse tonight, undoubtedly playing a fantastic game. Wilkerson scores, and now it's a six-point game, 69-63. And Gerald Drummond will be inserted back into the game, probably for Shep Anders. Anders, the blo block shot, Henshu, offensive rebound for Shiloh. Well, he has had a workhorse night, Stan. Robbie Henshu has really done well playing with four fouls. Playing a great game. Bray, three-pointer, no good. Brian Wright, rebound, offensively, goes up and knocks it down. And now, again, a six-point game. And the timeout, I believe, is called by Shiloh. We're going to stay right here, stay with us. 317 to go in the ball game, Stan. Up 71-65. Coach DeBus is saying we've got to control the ball game. We've got to control the basketball. We've got to control the clock. We cannot have turnovers now that cost us. We've got to go to the boards, screen out. And the other thing, they've got to control their tempers, both teams. And uh, admittedly, you know, here's a championship game. There's a lot of adrenaline in, in there, and they're pushing and shoving each other. And so, you know, as long as they can control it from here on out, I don't think there's any, you know, any problem. Well, I think you're exactly right, Stan. And with these two teams having met already twice before, Shiloh winning both games th by 13 at P. Ridge and by eight here at Shiloh, P. Ridge wants to win this game. Dethrone Shiloh. I think Coach DeBuzz is wanting to slow it down just a little and run some time off the clock, and he just wanting to let his players know what he wants. Fairchild to Nolan from the side. Fairchild, top of the key. Takes it down from eight feet. Henshu, another rebound offensively. Goes up strong off the glass. What a night for Robbie Henshu. Fantastic second half. And it looks like P. Ridge is going to have to bomb some three-pointers in order to win this game. Davis takes it down low, nice speed, nice basket. Two minutes, 49 seconds left. Again, a six-point game, can't hardly get off that. Well, I'll tell you what, that's for sure, sir. They're gonna widen it out just a little bit, slow it down. Matt Lo Nolan looks slow, off to Proud. Back to Nolan, back to Proud. He drives, goes up. It's blocked by the side of the backboard. Not the kind of shot that coach is looking for at this time in the game. Mark Davis, three-point range. Henry Bray, no good. Hanshu, another strong rebound. With Bill Dial's 11.2 rebounds out of the game, Robbie Hanshu has done a fantastic job taking up the slack. Fairchild with a turnover, throwing it over the outstretched arms of Matt Nolan. Matt's trying to take control now, slowing them down. Shiloh's going back to a 2-3 zone. Looking the two outside men row, trying to take away the three-point. Wilkerson finally finds the range. We're one three-pointer away from a tie ball game here with one minute and 45 seconds left in the game. Nolan down low to Hanshu, back out to Fairchild, top of the key, looks down to Drummond. Drummond's not been hardly in the game in the second half. He could offer us a scoring punch here late in the game. Fairchild to Nolan. The fans and the crowd chanting defense. A great crowd tonight. Crowd looks low to Hanshu. Hanshu, oh, very smart play. Back to Drummond, six foot. He cans it. Home court bounce, one minute. And seven seconds left. Timeout for P. Ridge. With the score 75, Shiloh, 70 P Ridge, we're gonna stay right here. Well, Stan, I'll tell you what, this is pressure packed. This is exciting as exciting can be. Two fine, well coached basketball teams playing their hearts out for the conference tournament championship. Both teams already going to represent the 1A West and the regionals down at County Line next week. I tell you what, the coaching strategy that's going on, the planning now in the last eight, uh, one minute, eight seconds of the ball game, fans are excited, 
This is high school basketball at its best. Well, we've got to commend Coach Larry Walker and his Pea Ridge Blackhawks. And not only that, but their fans have come out. This is not really a partisan crowd tonight. You've got a lot of Pea Ridge fans, a lot of Shiloh fans, both of them showing their support. And it comes down to this very simple fact. One minute, eight seconds, five-point Shiloh lead. Pea Ridge has the basketball. And I can tell you that some three-point shots are going to fly here with this last 68 seconds left in the basketball game. Break. Nolan almost with the steal. Excellent defense. Taking two seconds off the clock did that play. Well, this is a, an important basket for P. Ridge. P. Ridge has to connect here with this basket. Davis wide open for three point. He chooses to drive and he, and he scores the layup. And not only that, but he's fouled by Gerald Drummond. That will be his fifth foul. And he's fouled out of the contest, I do believe. Mark Davis, an incredible game tonight. A chance to convert and make a three-point play. Well, this is right, Stan, and right now, the boys are coming together on the floor saying, hey, guys, we can do this, settle down, let's play basketball. It's the referee cues Coach DeBusk in that he's got 30 seconds to replace. Uh, Robbie Henshew is the one who's fouled out. My mistake, Robbie Henshew's fouled out, not Gerald Drummond. Shep Anders inserted for the senior who's played a a truly outstanding second Robbie half. has played an outstanding game tonight. 59 seconds to go, Stan. Three point different. Could cut it to two right here. And Robbie did what he should do. He should wait until he's made to come out. Exactly right. And he converts the three point play. It's now a two point ball game with 56 seconds left. Shiloh 75, P Ridge 73. Fairchild, Fairchild had enough composure to call a timeout. Had he waited another second and a half, they would have called five seconds and there'd have been a turnover. That's just the maturity. Last year, he gave the ball up in that situation against Eureka Springs in the regional finals. Tonight, he had the maturity to call a timeout. P. Ridge comes into the game 10 and 16, 6 and 2 in conference play. Shiloh comes into the game 16 and 8, 8 and 0 oh in conference play. Shiloh having won 22 conference games in a row. Coach DeBus having never lost a conference game. Wow at the helm for Shiloh Christian School. 48 seconds left. 75 for Shiloh. 73 for P. Ridge. Coach Walker and Coach DeBus laying out the groundwork for the last 48 seconds in this Conference 1A West Tournament Championship game. Well, Stan, I, I don't know how the coaches are doing it. I don't know how the players are doing it because I, my heart's racing 90 miles an hour <laughs> just with the excitement of this high school basketball game. Rod Goodsell, superintendent of Shiloh Christian School, along with Stan Coleman giving you play-by-play -play and color commentary. And the buzzer sounds for what could be the final 48 seconds. The referee gives it off quickly to Shiloh, having given P. Ridge enough time. Fairchild, free throw. Basket's good, four point game, 77-73. It'll take two baskets at least. Davis drives low, goes up, strong, misses the layup, goes up again. Smart play by Shiloh, they do, Shiloh, they do not foul Davis. Now they foul Proud, and I believe the foul is made by Bray, who that could be his last foul. He is fouled out of the game. Well, I believe that's the fifth one on Bray, too, and they're going to wait their 30 seconds. And well, they should. So with 24 seconds left, it's a two-point game, and earlier, Brian Proud made some free throws. He is a sophomore. He lacks the experience of some of the seniors and juniors, but he's a good athlete. He's an excellent athlete. Couldn't have a better person at the line for Shiloh. These are important baskets, Stan. Coach Walker is going to send in Joel Easterling. 
And it looks like Brian Wright and Mark Davis will be the columns for Pea Ridge. They're down low to receive the rebound in case Proud misses the front end of his one and one. For a moment there, we thought it wasn't going to be good, but the ball went into the round cylinder. That's all it takes. Three-point game, 78-75. Crowd hands it. Another four-point game, 79-75, 23 seconds and counting. Davis from three-point baskets, good! Mark Davis cans it, 79-78 foul by Mark Davis. Excellent foul by Davis on Brian Proud. They don't call a two-point foul, a two-shot foul. And so it's now a one-point game with 15 seconds left in the contest. had the composure last time to make him. This time, Larry Walker and his crew is going to try to put him on ice. That's exactly right. That's a good call, Stan, to call timeout now. Make the young sophomore think about the pressure of it, what these two shots mean to Shiloh. I don't know if the crowd or if the video audience that's, or the TV audience that's listening in could ask for a better game coming down here at the end. I'll tell you what. You've got to hand it to P. Ridge. Coming into this game, lost two already to Shiloh this year. They come to their own home court there here at Shiloh, and they're playing him right down to the bitter end. Bray fouls out. Denman fouls out. Now 79-78, Shiloh up by one, and it's a one and one. And so if Proud misses, guess what? P. Ridge will have a chance, even on a, a field goal, to go ahead by one. Exactly right, Steve. This is undoubtedly the most crucial free throw Brian Proud has ever shot in his life. All those many, many hours of practice will pay off for a high school athlete sometime or another in his high school career. And it comes down to this here, the sophomore, Brian Proud, a great athlete, number 33, 79-78, 15 seconds left in this Conference 1A West Tournament Championship game. Let's watch it. Basket's no good. Davis with the rebound. He slips and falls. And traveling is called. They cannot believe it. They cannot believe it. Well, Coach Walker's told him to foul. He told him to foul. As soon as Shiloh touches the ball, somebody's going to get hurt. Drummond to inbounds it. Can't find anybody. Finally to Fairchild. The foul is called on Joel Easterling. We'll wait to see if it's a one, one and one or a two shot. One and one is called. Good call by the ref. Boy, he would like to have had that intentional foul, Stan. Put the ball back into Shiloh's hands after two shots. Well, Davis was kind of tripped up, and he skidded a little bit. Now, just as a moment ago, they tried to ice down Brian Proud. They're trying to ice down the star forward, the leaper, the six-foot Nathan Fairchild, who's done a lot of the scoring and played great defense all night long for Shiloh. Well, exactly right. I, I believe this is their last time out. Coach DeBus still has one timeout left. These two shots are critical. What a fantastic game. Whether you're involved in 1A West Conference or not, this is a great high school matchup. 79-78. 12 seconds left in the contest. We're going to stay right here. The fans, many of them are standing all over this facility. Shiloh already on the court. And the Hawks take to the court now, finally. Nathan Fairchild, very cool at the line most of the time. Only time will tell with 12 seconds left. Nathan Fairchild, one and one. Good. 80, 78. If he makes this, P. Ridge will have to throw up a three-point shot. Nathan Fairchild, 12 seconds left, the free throw to come. Good, 81-78, 12 seconds left. 
Mark Davis receives the inbound pass. They get the foul right in here, Stan. Give, put him at the line with a one and one Don't give him the That's three That's going to be quarter. short. Air ball. Three, two, one. They call the foul. They call the foul. They're going to put one second back up on the clock. The game is not over. I do not believe. No, I do not. I believe they're going to say one second's left. I'm not sure. With the with an 81 78 lead, they probably won't give him the shot. Well, the fans and the cheerleaders and the Saints come out on the court. They are going to call it. Exciting ball Ladies and gentlemen, 81 78. Exactly, Rod. A fantastic game. ball game. Final score Conference 1A West Tournament Championship game. Shiloh Christian School, 81. The Pea Ridge Blackhawks, 78. We're going to stay here for just a moment and we're going to, in just a little while, hopefully talk to Coach Dennis DeBus, the head coach of the Shiloh Christian Saints. They will be going, Rod, to County Line here next week, along with P. Ridge. Right down to the wire. For the regional tournament. That's exactly right. Because we did win tonight, that puts us in the position to, to go on Tuesday night and play the second place team like like from it. the other area. That was an important aspect of tonight's game. Had we have had to go Wednesday night, we would have had to play the first place team from their region, which would have made it tougher. We've got to win two games in the region in order to go to the state championships. You've got to believe that the weak events of the tournament for Pea Ridge had to tell on them tonight. Mike Demon fouling out, Henry Bray fouling out. Their tongues had to be wagging because uh, there was a whole lot of uh, action early on and then late. Oh, uh, Stan, I enjoy doing these games with you. But boy, they're pressure packed. I don't know what to say. I'm just sort of exhausted. Unbelievable. Well, we've got some of the tournament uh, trophies that will be handed out momentarily. Coach Dennis DeBusk is here. In just a moment, we want to have a word with Coach DeBusk and uh, ask him a few questions, see what he has to say about this tournament game as well as the other games that will be played in regional play. And so we're going to let the cameras have it here for a little while, and we'll be back here in just a few seconds. Coach of the Shiloh Christian Saints, Coach Dennis DeBus, here just after the game. The score, Shiloh 81, P. Ridge 78. Just a few thoughts, Coach. You've uh, come through. Not only did you win the conference championship, but you won the conference tournament championship. And now your thoughts on going to, on this game and then going to regional. Well, we hung in there. When Dow went out, that's leading rebound. He's going to get some junk points, and that hurt bad. I just hope he's not hurt too bad so he can play next week. Uh, but. Robbie really picked it up tonight. He played a heck of a ball. I don't think he scored a lot of points, but he got a bunch of rebounds, but then he fouls out. Drummond gets in foul trouble. Our three leading rebounders were on the bench, a bunch, and it hurt us bad. Uh, I thought Chef Andrews came in, did a great job. Brian Proud did his usual thing. I thought Matt Nolan had a great ball game. He hit the clutch three points, shots there. Uh, and Elkins, what can you say about Nathan? Cross, I mean, he's going to be the MVP of the tournament. And we had to have it. He came through. He hit the free throws at the end there. Uh, it's a heck, for, Elkins, heck of a deal. And I'm, I'm tickled in. The next week, we play Tuesday night at uh, 8.30 at County Line. I don't know who we play yet. Coach, congratulations. A great season. You're undefeated in Conference 1A West since you've come from Heber Springs. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. From Dean Ridge, Jennifer. And now back to the tournament. Festivities. From Shallow, Nicole Bodenstein. The most valuable player for the girls from the cater, Sue Turner. Thank 
At this time, we'd like to present conference championship trophy, which went to Decatur. Something from uh, all the people 
of Chao Blueskin Club. At this time, we'd like to thank everyone for coming, all the teams. God bless you, and have a safe trip home.